Okay, guys, I'm going to go over some charts that I'm going to be watching this week. Um, I ran a, I run uh, several scans every weekend and actually every night. Um, and one of them I look for is, uh, you know, stocks down four days in a row for potential bounces. And then when I get the results of the scan, um, you know, I'll look at them one at a time and decide if anything's worth a bounce. Maybe it's down to support um, or down to the hitting the 200 day average, something like that. And then I might throw it on the watch list for a potential bounce play. Well, there's an inverse scan of the same thing, stocks up four days in a row, um, you know, maybe we can find something into resistance for a potential short, things that are overbought. Looking at the SPY here, we're just at all-time highs, and um, I don't know, uh, it's certainly over overbought, and I, you know, but at the same time, I'm, I'm way too uh, scared to try to just say, hey everybody, the market's topped, because it's just grinding higher. So, I'm not trying to call a top or anything, but since I'm a day trader, I do look for intraday ideas based on daily charts at first and then on intraday entries you know for potential uh, trades long and short so having said that the one of the scans i run the four days in a row higher and and, and i generally use um, volume parameters so i don't get too thin of uh stocks and um the prices i put are between five and a hundred dollars on this one particular scan and it's been out over 200 as far as stocks in those uh, volume and price parameters that are up four days in a row so i mean it, just running scans every day, you can get some kind of feeling for you know how the market's doing and whether it's overbought, oversold, that sort of thing, by how many stocks the scans that you do on a regular basis spit out. Um, and then I've got stocks down four days in a row. It, it barely spit out any. So, I mean, it's very easy to gauge how the market's acting right now just by running those scans. Um, but anyway, having said that, I think it's important to have stocks on watch for potential shorts on an intraday basis. Um, even in a strong market and some of them that were up four days in a row Let me look at some of them here WNR um, So that's a potential Reversal play for a possible intraday short. It's up near recent highs too. COH um, This one's been climbing uh, for a long time, but it's, it's at right around it actually peaked through the 200-day average on uh, Friday it does have consolidation to the left um, uh, What is that six days in a row green? So I think if the market shows any weakness with this consolidation to the left, or you could say resistance or supply, this is a good candidate for a potential short with any market weakness um, on Monday. Home builders are interesting. DHI is up th three, four days in a row, up into resistance, a little topping tail. So, you know, and you could pick any home builder. Those might be worth watching for potential shorts. Um, other stocks I have on my list are potential longs here. Uh, Value click, VCLK. Nice run here, pullback, it based for a couple days and now sneaking out of that base. So um, I like this one as a potential long, again, only with the proper intraday entry on Monday. Um, I do have some bounce plays on watch, uh, Electronic Arts. Big sell-off on Friday, but it's got nice support at 24. So I'll be looking for a potential long in that one, again, with the proper intraday setup. JASO, couple red days, back down near the eight-day moving average and also... Um, back down near the breakout area. Okay, this one looked really good breaking out on the weekly. And so it's kind of uh, broken out here and a little bit of a lower volume retest. So this could be a second chance at a long on JASO. What else do I have here? Uh, OXBT, this is just a weird one, right? But because it ran from like two bucks to uh, over 11, um, it's been on my watch list for several days in a row. It hasn't met the parameters I'm looking for. And if you saw a video I made like last week, what I'd like to see is this thing trade in a narrow range, um, you know, for the morning and then maybe a new high of day in the afternoon. If you notice, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Uh, ever since that big move, these are 15 minute candles. There's the opening 15 minute high. The next day, the opening, I'm going back about what, five days here. The next day, the opening 15-minute high. The next day, you see, even though it gapped up here, sold off. And uh, and then here's Friday. So you notice this has not broken its early high yet in the afternoon since that crazy move, um, at least in the last five days. I like that because if it does one of these afternoons and we have it on a chart and we're right there when it happens, we could get a really nice trade. So um, even though the daily's weird and, uh, you know, it's kind of starting to consolidate, that would be a great trade if it sets up that way. I'm not trying to trade it really in any other way. I'm looking for an afternoon break out of a narrow range. Otherwise, I'm not going to mess with that one because I've watched it trade and it's a weird trader. But that afternoon high of day break, I bet we get a pretty nice trade um, out of that. So anyway, it's on watch. And uh, let's see. You know what? 
A couple other bounce plays on watch, but a lot of what we do uh, is also based on stuff we find on an intraday basis, so I don't want to overwhelm you or myself with too big of a list here. So that's what I'm starting with on Monday, and uh, we'll add as we find stuff as the day unfolds as well. Enjoy your uh, Sunday evening, and we'll see everybody on Monday.